Now, she's more used to fixing hearts than having her own heart broken, but for Holby City's steely surgeon, Connie Beecham, it looks like things are about to change. Sorry, you tried to pick me up. I'm just trying to buy you a drink by way of an apology. I've booked a room. Have you? I've never tried to hide it. No, no and you know what? I didn't want to go there. This can't last. No, no, no. It, it can last as long as we want it to. It's, it's what we agreed, OK? The game's changed. You broke no. the rule. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. No. Lovely Amanda yeah. Neeling, who plays Connie, is with us now. And tonight, 8 o'clock, BBC oh. One, Holby City, we start to know who mm. the mysterious John is. Yeah. And it's it, it, it's it's good. I, I like the way that uh, we've we've done it. Is that you know this mystery man has been around for a bit. You don't know who he is, and the fact that I've been doing the show for about four and a half years now, never heard Connie say "I love you." No. So this is the first time she's kind of given a heart. He's mm. in love, and you know it wasn't meant to happen like that. They were just having this casual thing. And you know, no one's going to get hurt. And well, it all started that night in July, didn't it? Because the chief executive officer at Holby, who's Jane Grayson, mm. she that the, the both of you went out for a drink after a heavy day of yep. work, and uh, and 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 Jane is, and Jane... is quite important in this mm. you know, little s yes, situation. In the situation, yeah. And while Jane left, Connie stayed on, and then bumped into uh, John. Bumped into John, mysterious mm. John, who then is just popped up literally so to speak <laughs> has been popping up in your life has been. <laughs> with some regularity and to our surprise and um but tonight two stories start to converge tonight we we find out we find out connie finds out who mm. john really is we we've been allowed to have the clip mm. yes yeah, so um of if, him popping up yeah. oh look now you were found you, on daytime tv <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to have tonight spoiled obviously go like this la 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 and we'll ring you to let you know when we stopped it <laughs> 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 sort of count 30 in your head I'll and come then round, come I'll back i'll come round and knock on your <laughs> yeah. door all right when it's um, finished but here we go now uh, just to set this up jane the chief executive her son has been brought into the hospital because he's fallen into a pool. Yeah, he's been underwater for for uh, uh, a couple Too of hours. Long. Yes, and is you know is is clinically dead really. But we're all and trying Connie's to save trying him. to bring him back because this is her friend's child. How long is this clip? Right, count say, count to thirty eight from now. <laughs> la 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 la. How long has she been there? About an hour. You realise he's almost certainly brain dead. You think we should stop? Come on, the risk of brain injury is very high, even if we do get an output. The question is, are we treating the patient or the family? Well, if he's still got a chance, we should carry on no matter who the family is. Mark? It's been hours. He's aspirated. He's gone. Sorry. Connie? Is that? It's her husband. He's just arrived. Um, wow. So it's a it's it's a, it's a devastating situation because you know you've got Connie trying to save the life of her friend and her colleague. You know her son's mm. lying there, uh, um, you know, barely mm. alive, and and then don't say anymore because if, if the nation has just gone la 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 la, la <laughs> for thirty eight seconds, don't but give away don't anymore. So rotten meanie for him to be stringing you along when he must know the connection or he's made the connection now he knew he knew when when a couple of weeks ago we were operating on the conjoined yes. twins mm. and he called up connie went to the hotel thinking there was something yeah. wrong and he said oh no no i'm here because you know i had the room for an extra night and she said i'm a surgeon i'm working on this and mm. so he realized then who she was I still didn't say anything. So. Well, the stories are the stories are terrific because uh, congratulations, obviously, on your TV BAFTA for best yeah, continuing yeah. drama. I mean, that really is a great reward, isn't it's, it? It's, it's, it's because it's the industry. It's it's the the highest accolade within the industry, yeah. and it's it's your contemporaries kind of acknowledging you. So yeah, it is nice. And then the next day, you were pictured in the papers in a fantastic 
dress. You looked sensational. Thank Everyone you. Went, oh my nice. god! And and, there's, and and this is more than this is more than just a fabulous frock. This is actually a bit of a statement you're making here, isn't it? Well, it, you know, it, what well, I didn't intend for any kind of statement. I just think what I do now, having had breast cancer and. And I was very open about it because I was shocked at the idea that so few women really knew what went on. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the more we talk about it, the less uh, uh, you, you take the, the, the fear out of it. And, and, and it, it is something that affects over 100,000 women a year, so it's not a rare thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the more we talk about it, the more open we are about it, the, you know, the, I think the easier it is for everyone to deal with it. Um, families, you know, not just for, for, the, for the people suffering, but for the families as well. Um, so I think generally I don't have a purpose for doing that, but I'm, I'm quite happy to stand up and be counted and yes. say, look, you know, you can, you can get through it. It mm. doesn't mean and life sentence. And look gorgeous at the other end as well, which is, you know, I mean, looking gorgeous is not well, the both height ends. of no. purpose for living, but it is very nice. Pardon? <laughs> What? You no, you missed things. that then. Oh, sorry, sorry, I did miss that one. <laughs> well, you know what it is? Conversation. But it's that thing of, of if I was about, to, if I was just di diagnosed now and I saw me up there having known that, you know, she's gone through it and, and, and mm. got through and you can kind of get your life back and it doesn't have to be the end. It's, mm. I think that's, it's my, I, I feel it's my duty to do yeah. that. Really. And is it since the breast cancer that you traced your birth parents and the trip to Sierra Leone, or where did that come? That came a couple of years ago, just after I had my first son. I think it's when you have your own family, you suddenly realize I need for them to be able to, 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 to explain to them who, who we are and what our roots are, and that's, and that's when I started. you were adopted into a, into a very loving family. Oh, and you were the youngest of my four, parents. No, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, but I think that question is always there, mm. because I'm, I kind of don't look like anyone in my family, and so, um, I did, I traced them, I found my mother was, used to be a Bieber model, model for Bieber, and she went over to New York, and then I have a sister who's a year younger than me, but we both looked the same, and when we first met, it was the first time either of us had recognised any familial traits. Yes. So and she'd been watching amazing. the telly and people had said to her, you look just like that woman well, off the, the telly. Well, because I used to be in Grange Hill, and they used to say, oh, you look like that girl in Grange Hill. And <laughs> she, she didn't know. She didn't know either. Wow, so your, your mother now is in New York. She's in New York now. Your sister is here My in the UK. Here, yeah. And your father, who had... A, a he, was, he was part Sierra Leone. Part Sierra Leone, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. And he sadly died. He died, you know, a so long you time before. So you never got to see him. I, I would have met him. So no, so that kind of inspired my... I mean, as a mother, you know, I've, I know about the Save the Children work. Um, and with the Sierra Leonean connection, I obviously can't meet him. Mm. So I wanted to kind of make some connection with with those people, and, and which is why you went. Mm. And uh, and this is this is uh, footage from a documentary you've made for uh, for broadcast on the internet. Yeah. Um, and uh, and hopefully, I mean, it's, it it's tells such an incredible story that you know would like to see it. You know, give a, 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 I say wider audience. There's nothing wider than the internet, but it yeah. would be great oh, if it no, could be. This is a so I mean, this is literally rivers. I mean, it's rubbish and sewage, and, and you can see the pigs. You can see the little boy defecating there, you know, yeah. I mean, that, and that's, and they shouldn't have to walk through it, look, to go to school. Through Bay. And your boys, is it right that your boys now have pen friends there, they're yes. writing, how wonderful. Yeah, and then they're, they're one of the boys that I met over there is an Arsenal fan, and my eldest is an Arsenal fan, so they, they write to each other, and it's, I think it's important for, for them as well, but mm. also, for my boys, they have their money box, they put their weekly kind of um, things in, in, and, yeah. and then they have a little one for Africa. Oh. And they've done that all by themselves. And you know, if we're tidying up or you know, kind of boxing toys away, we go, that goes to Africa. And that so they have a a, a, um, a, a global yeah. sense awareness. of of uh, awareness of, yeah. of you know not just being their little world. So yeah. it's, I think it's good for them. And as they're well. nine and six, are they? Nine and six. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Well, well it's, it's great, great yeah. to see you looking so good. Fun. Hello, with your darling. family. Thank, Thank you. you. And um, and we can't wait to see Holby City tonight. Yeah, and what's going to happen so for too. Connie? Yeah, I think it's heartbreak time. <gasps> we find that she has a heart. Yeah, it's got to be broken, 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 isn't it? Of course. Yes. A bit tough, <laughs> old Jenny. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you. much oh, indeed. It's lovely to see you. Days. Thank you. Lovely. A pleasure. Mm. Uh, right then. Bit random, but it'll make sense. Do you need a new carpet? 